I prefer to run them separately. And the reason being is we typically see a drop off in conversion rate with FBM SKUs. So going back a little bit to supply chain um, and uh, we saw, because we also do 3P on warehousing, a lot of mm -hmm. businesses that couldn't necessarily get inventory into Amazon itself. Um, and they might not have done prime day deals, but they're still struggling between FBA and FBM, of course, just getting mm -hmm. that inventory in. Uh, do the ads that you run work for FBM as well as FBA or do you have to, are they separate ads? So they do work and you can set them up to be the same ads advertising two different SKUs, one FBA and one FBM. Okay. I prefer to run them separately. And the reason being is we typically see a drop off in conversion rate with FBM SKUs. Slight drop off, depending on shipping times and seller fulfilled prime and like all these other different mm -hmm. aspects. But, you know, fulfilled by Amazon does hold a lot of weight in terms of just like consumers know that it's going to be trustworthy and things like that. So it typically converts a little bit higher. So when I'm looking at my advertising metrics and I have a SKU that may not convert as well, I want to give it a different budget. So I typically separate out my ads and then shift between the two of them whenever we do have to be flexible for FBA, FBM, which was like march april may of last year probably the biggest struggle when those first you know shipping limits hit mm -hmm.